In this video, we're going to have a look at the Atop Nuke Mini PC. This Mini PC is available with two operating systems. You can go with either the Windows 10 Pro or Linux Ubuntu. Currently, if you are looking into a Windows 10 PC or laptop, you need to be aware that the Windows 10 final version 22H2, the end of support date will be October 14th, 2025. If you're aware of this and you're comfortable with that remaining window for available updates, you can get a Windows 10 PC for a pretty good price. And the price I got on this mini PC really hit that sweet spot. I couldn't help myself. For the price I paid in the remaining window of updates, I'm good with this. Welcome to the Unboxing with Marty channel. If you enjoyed this video and the videos on this channel, please hit that subscribe button. So if you've watched a number of my videos, you'll always know that I'm very happy when I see a well-wrapped, sealed box. Tamper-resistant. Now, to tear off this plastic wrap and let's dig further into this box. Okay, just a quick walk around to see all sides of this box. Okay, the lid is snug, but that's a good thing. First, we're greeted with the mini computer user manual. Yep, and this here is what it's all about, the mini PC. Gotta say, I like the wrapping here. Okay, it does feel like plastic. You can hear it. Okay, what do we have down here? Here's the power supply, adapter. And this looks like a VESA bracket. Now let's have a walk around the mini PC. From left to right, we have the power button, audio jack, a type C port, data only, You've got two USB 3.0, got a micro SD slot and a security slot. Here you got your power input, two HDMI's, two USB 2.0's and Ethernet. So this is what comes in the box. What we're going to do next is we're going to set up the mini PC, start it up, and just have a quick look. When the power button is pressed, you can see that it lights up. Okay, this is the initial setup, so I'm going to speed this up. You know, I'm going to even edit some of these screens out just to speed it up even more. So once you hit this screen, just go ahead and follow the on-screen prompts to set up. All right, so what I did here is after the initial setup, I went ahead and did some updates to get it uh, more current. Here on the About page, uh, you have processor information. Installed RAM is eight gigs. Under Windows specifications, you can see it's Windows 10 Pro. And after the updates, the mini PC landed with version 22H2. So after the updates, I wanted to see how much storage I had remaining. There's about 82.5 gigs of available storage. Next, because I do want to use this for web browsing, I just wanted to open up a number of uh, pages on the browser to see how it performs. And of course, yeah, if you know me by now, I'm going to go look at the Raspberry Pi page.
Okay, let's just randomly open up a few more. Okay, the sounds pretty good. And next I'm going to open up several office apps, starting with a word processor. Next, I'm going to open up a presentation app. And last, a spreadsheet app. And we'll just have a quick run through to see what apps are available here. Well, this will bring us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had fun uh, making this video. If you enjoyed this video and videos on this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.